where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. God has hidden unlimited treasures in his word. Every time we open it, we can discover a new treasure or admire an old one. What will we find today? Let's dig in. Here's Carla Early with Treasure Hunt in the Word. When sin stands between us and the Lord, when we are willfully disobedient, God will not hear us. The psalmist learned that in Psalm 66, 18. He said, If I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear. In 1 Samuel 14, Saul had not learned that. King Saul had been leading the Israelites into battle against the Philistines. The men followed him, but he was scared, and they were scared, so scared that they were beginning to desert. Saul was waiting for Samuel to arrive so that they could ask the favor of God before battle, but Samuel was nowhere to be found. So Saul decided to do it himself, offer a burnt offering, even though he wasn't a priest. Just as he did, Samuel arrived. Though Saul made excuses, Samuel told him how foolish he had been. Because of this disobedience, he lost his kingdom, for the Lord desired a leader who was a man after his own heart. I often wonder what would have happened had Saul repented at this point, but he didn't. He didn't confess his sin and agree with God that he'd been wrong. He didn't repent and ask God for forgiveness like David did much later when the prophet Nathan confronted him about his sin with Bathsheba and the murder of Uriah. Later in battle, Saul decided to ask for God's guidance. In 1 Samuel 14.37, he inquired of the Lord, Shall I go down and pursue the Philistines? Will you give them into Israel's hand? But God did not answer him that day. And Saul didn't hear from God again. As Samuel told him later, Has the Lord as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as in obeying the Lord? Behold, to obey is better than sacrifice, to listen than the fat of rams. Wow, what a truth that we need to learn as well. Loving obedience is what God wants, not a list of checked off boxes, but a heart that is responsive to him and willing to obey. And if he's not getting that from us, Nothing else that we do really matters. Saul truly missed hearing from the Lord. At the beginning of his reign, he'd been filled with the Spirit. But after his rebellion and refusal to repent, God removed his Spirit from him. Saul became a paranoid, indecisive, weak ruler. When facing the Philistines in battle later in his life, knowing God would not speak to him, he desperately sought out a witch and asked her to bring Samuel's spirit up from the spirit world. Even the spirit that she brought up, whether it was really Samuel's or not, I don't know, asked him, Why do you ask me, since the Lord has turned from you and become your enemy? Just like I said, the Lord has taken your kingdom from you and gave it to David because you did not obey. Can you tell obedience is important to God? So is humility and repentance all of which come from a heart that desires what God desires. When we come to him with humble, obedient hearts, we see his answers to our prayers. How is your heart? As always, we'd love to hear from you. If you'd like to share a treasure, support this ministry, or get Carla to speak at an event, please contact us at treasurehuntintheword at gmail.com. You can listen to other episodes on our website, which you can find in the description below. Thanks for listening and have a great day.